Hi right, guys, it is no exaggeration to say that this tripod right here, this is the Zero F38 from Ulanzi. This tripod has changed my shooting more than any other accessory I have ever had for cameras, and I mean that sincerely. I absolutely love, this is the best tripod, I think, on the planet in terms of a travel tripod. Not only is it tiny and light, and I take it everywhere, so I have a tripod with me at all times, but also it is a quick release. It's a whole F38 quick release system. You just put these little base plates on the bottom of your camera and then you can just slide on and off and not just on this. Here's a little F38 table tripod slash selfie stick. Slide it on, slide it off. Got one for my camera bag strap when I wanna go out and get some exercise, which is not very often. On this side here, I actually have a Peak Design clip and uh, Ulanzi actually sells an F38 plate that is compatible with this one. It's got the F38 on one side, Peak Design on the other. Very clever if you wanna switch over. They also make them for the popular gimbals out there. So I always have one on my gimbal, that way I don't have to rebalance. Quick release on, quick release off. And they also sell the little base plate so I could turn any tripod or light stand or whatever I want into a quick release system. But Ulanzi didn't stop there. Oh no, they have released a new F38 38 tripod. Check this one out. This one is the Ulanzi and Photo Pro X Aircross F38 tripod. This one has a fluid head for you folks out there who are video centric like me. Let's talk about it. Okay, so big shout out to Yulanzi for sending this guy over for review. And if you don't know how my relationship started with Yulanzi, I basically started buying their products when I needed things. I was so impressed by them, I just started making reviews, raving about their stuff. And they contacted me, they were like, all right, dude, calm down. You like our stuff, we get it. Do you want us to send you some other things to review? I went, yes. Yes, I do. Send everything you have. And I haven't recommended anything more than this Zero F 30A tripod. And it warms my heart when people write comments and they tell me that they also love the tripod. And that makes me feel good. Something that I love very much and I recommend. And then people, they write me and they're like, got it. Love it. You are right. I also like being called right. So what about this fella right here? Well, first of all, he's got the quick release system. Of course, of course he does. This is also so tiny and light. This is 2.38 pounds for a carbon fiber tripod with a nice fluid head. It's a bit heavier than the Zero F38 at its 2.1 pounds, but it's got the fluid head. And also because of the fluid head, it doesn't pack up quite as small as the Zero F38. 38, which is to be expected. Now here's the bottom of the quick release plate right here. And as you can see, it has a slot so you could use a coin and you could also use a hex key. A hex key, you say, where would I find one of those? Well, you'd find it right here in the fluid head. Look at this. It is hard to do this while I look into the monitor. You know what? I'm just going to turn it around. There is a hex key in the recess of the uh, tripod head right there. Here's the hex key. You guys know what a hex key is, don't you? I love the Sony autofocus, but honestly, you got to cover up your eyes so well so that it focuses on. I should have used product showcase mode. I'm a little ZV-E10 that is over there as a missed opportunity. And here is the handle. You can adjust it to any position you'd like. This knob here controls the tension on the fluid head on the tilt. So you can make that tighter or looser depending on your preference. It doesn't have any markings on it, but uh, you know, you can just tighten it by feel. This little lever right here is for the pan access you can lock that off or you can pan to your heart's content and this knob right here oh check this one out this might be worth the price of admission right here you loosen that up and check this out the roll you can control the roll so separate from the pan and tilt anytime you need to make a small adjustment you can just take that out and then adjust your entire rig then tighten that down very cool. It also has a tiny little spirit level right here to make sure that your camera is in fact level. Now, if you don't want to use their ball head for some reason, you can take the entire thing off and attach a different ball head. Here's an old k &F ball head I had from a tripod that broke a little while ago. So uh, look at that, fits on right there. You can do that if you want. I don't know why it would. I mean, maybe if you wanted a ball head that supported more weight, so I might as well tell you that. This supports 6.6 .6 pounds, the ball head, or three kilograms. And the whole thing, the center column, will support 22 pounds. And what that means is you can put the 6.6 .6 pounds up here, and then you can put the remaining weight, which is a certain amount. I'm not gonna do the math right now. I could if I wanted. Oh, and speaking of the hook, here's a fun little surprise. You can take that hook out and you have a little phone holder. Check that out. Isn't that cute? Hidden right there. You can just unscrew that from the bottom there. And now here is your phone holder. Now you have a quick release phone holder tripod.
This knob right here is just to extend the center column up or down. You can also do the inverted mode if you want. You can take the whole column out and then put it upside down to get super low to the ground. But with this guy, I don't think you really need to do that because the center column can actually come apart. Then you can flatten the legs out, put the short center column back in, and now you have a very low to the ground little device, huh? Is that, you can't get lower to the ground, I guess, unless you put your camera on the ground, but that's not safe, don't do that. And it has not one, but actually two quarter threads so you can attach additional accessories to your fancy little tripod. So let's talk about these legs a little bit here. I am not used to this locking mechanism. This is the first tripod I've had that has this. Normally I have the switches. That's the one that I like the most, the flip switches. And then you have the locking knobs, which I don't like much because I have found that they have broken on me fairly easily. I'm probably just too strong. I probably twisted too hard, but this one here, the whole leg is recessed inside, so you just twist the entire thing and then it comes out and it is so fast to do that. I thought I wouldn't like it, but after a few days of using it, I like it very much, especially when you're out in the cold here in Canada, you have gloves on. Did I say Canada? Canada. That's where I, see, my lips are frozen even though I'm inside because I'm in Canada. But with gloves on, you can just twist it. Twist it back when you want it to go. Like, look at it. And you can twist it in any position. And right, righty tighty, lefty loosey, right? And you can just, it's sturdy now. Now, I don't know in terms of the longevity because I haven't had it this long. And this is what Photo Pro does. That They have an X Air Cross system. It's not the Ulanzi collaboration with the quick release plate. They have their own X Air Cross and people love them. There's rave reviews and nobody's complaining about the locking mechanism giving out over time. So we'll have to see. I do know that the Zero F38 and the Zero Y tripod, their flip switches are great because I have been using those since August, literally every day, several times a day usually, and they never let me down. So we'll see what I say about this guy in a year, but so far so good. And I'm surprised at how much I like this little feature. So what I've been doing previously before getting the X Aircross fluid head is that I was using this one from Ulanze. I picked up this guy right here and I stuck him on the F38 tripod, the uh, quick release one, but this isn't a quick release one, unfortunately. So I had to grab a Ulanzi quick release plate and then put that here in the Arca Swiss little slot. And, uh, and then I put another quick release plate on the bottom, which is not the most elegant solution and it is an extra cost, but uh, that is what I was doing. And by the way, all those little quick release plates, the F38s, they will go in little Arca Swiss plates. You can just screw those in. They will tighten in just fine. It's just, you can't use any other plates in the F38 system. So that's the thing, if you're doing a lot of video work, this guy makes a lot of sense and he's actually cheaper than the Zero F38 by a fair bit. This, the full price of this guy is gonna be $259.95, but he's currently on, if you're watching this before April 1st, there's an early bird special, a good one, where you can get it for $219.95, which is a lot cheaper than the full retail price of $399 of the Zero F38. So if you're someone who's gonna use this fluid head a ton, then uh, I think this is probably the way to go. But overall, if you have the budget, plus I have a coupon code that Ulanzi is still nice enough to honor, even though I reviewed this a long time ago. So there's a coupon code down below for this guy right here as well. If you have the budget, I can't recommend this strongly enough. It is absolutely the best travel tripod that you can buy, in my opinion. And since I'm lucky enough to have both of these things and they're so light, I'm just gonna put one on each side of the backpack when I need the fluid head for my video work, grab this guy. When I don't need it, I will grab this guy. Absolutely fantastic. So once again, thanks to Yulanzi for sending this guy out for review. Feel free to comment down below what type of tripod do you have or do you want to have? And we'll have a little discussion about tripods for cameras because we are camera nerds. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye. I mean, we're still pretty cool.